for another uh, midweek promise. You know, I, I've got this shaving mug and I've got my grandmother's cards. The shaving mug is special because my grandfather was a barber and, and of course I followed him. I had to choose, a, when I became 15, I had to choose uh, a trade. Even though I was gonna go to college, my father wanted me to have a trade. So I thought, well, I'll do what my grandfather did. And some of his tools I still have. And they're meaningful to me. He was a great man of God. Uh, it was wonderful to go get my hair cut. Back then, it was once a week. Uh, it was just a wonderful time in my life. And then my grandmother would come over with the promise and we'd sit down and talk about the promises of God. So today's promise comes from Isaiah. It's just a, a, a really, a little depth in this one. So let me read it to you. This is from um, Isaiah 30, 15, and it goes like this. In returning and rest will you be saved, and quietness and confidence will be your strength. Wow. Listen to again now. Just think about, think through this. In returning, you know, when I get off and it's not quite right, I can return. And then I can enjoy the rest of, of again being forgiven and, and being, you know, just being with him, spending time with him. Shall you be saved? Oh boy. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. That quietness and confidence knowing that God is going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. He's going to accept me, wash away my sins and make me brand new. He does that every day with his redemptive power through the cross, Jesus dying for me and rising from the grave. Again, Isaiah 30, 15. Let's pray together. Father, if we're struggling and something's going on in our lives and we're not receiving the kind of feeling and the rest that we ought to have with you, help us to see that maybe we jump ship someplace and we need to return back to the very basics of just walking with you, spending time with you, talking with you, loving you, and feeling your love right back. And then with that quiet faith, that confidence in you, your graciousness, your mercy, your forgiveness is well known. You're good at it. So we give you thanks and praise through Jesus Christ today in restoration and in faith. We ask these things in your name, we pray, Jesus. Amen. And here's the poem afterwards. Renew my will from day to day. Blend it with thine and take away all that now makes it hard to say. Thy will be done. Have a great day. God's blessing. Thanks for joining us today for Midweek Promise with Pastor Dowling. And remember to be with us again next week for another installment. God bless you and have a wonderful day.